what's up you guys, this is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today on The Snapshot, we're staying up and ready for action when we take a look at Inaros' Arcane Armor build. Okay, so many of you have been asking for this build even though I did technically post it on my fanboying over update 18.5 video. But for those of you who missed it, I'll go into a little more detail and we'll also take a look at some of his arcane options, as those do add a ton of survivability to his build. Now obviously Aneros is definitely an interesting anomaly when it comes to Warframes as he completely lacks shields, has an exorbitant amount of health, and ways to both increase his armor and restore his HP. The premise of this build is to take advantage of all of those aspects and turn him into one of the tankiest Warframes we've seen scene to date. So, for those of you who aren't aware, mechanically, Inaros has a ton of ways to keep himself alive, from the part of his passive that allows him to restore 20% of his health for each enemy he kills with a melee finisher, his devourer ability which renders him invulnerable to damage while he steals life from a trapped victim, as well as Scarab Swarm which, when fully charged, grants him a passive 100% boost to his base armor, and when activated, unleashes a targeted projectile that deals damage and panics enemies, restoring health to him and any nearby allies. Now, for those of you who are curious, after a bit of of testing and reverse engineering damage received, Scarab Armor only grants an additive boost of 200 points. This bonus is not affected by armor mods, power strength mods, or arcane enhancements. Keep that in mind for a little bit later. Now, let's take a look at the snapshot. As you can see, I put in three forma into this build. I added in an additional dash slot and V slot, and used the last forma to remove the polarity from the Exilus slot. I did this mainly because I wanted a bit more flexibility, just in case I felt like switching a few things out. Note that this particular build does require you to have either a blank Exilus slot or one with a V in it. Now, as for the build, as you can see, this is a standard brawler build that uses rage to refill your energy. It does have a touch of power strength to help you improve healing, and a bit of range and duration to increase your crowd control potential, thus mitigating some of the damage that would be dealt to you. Now, Fleeting Expertise is one of those preferential mods in this build, mainly because Anaros doesn't use too much energy and rage can refill him pretty quickly at higher levels. If Fleeting Expertise isn't your cup of tea, you can toss in an Armored Agility for a boost in your defenses, or if you don't mind adding in a fourth forma for the dash slot, you can toss in a Prime Flow for a larger energy pool or Constitution to further boost your CC duration. Now, as for Arcanes, due to the fact that Aneros has such high health and that Arcanes have no effect on the boost granted by Scarab Armor, I personally feel like stacking two Arcane Graces will provide you with the most benefit. Now, for those of you who don't know, Arcane Grace at max rank provides you with a 6% chance to restore 4% of your health every second for 6 seconds, for a total of 24% of your maximum health restored. What this means for Aneros is that a single trigger will restore 184.8 points of health every second for a total of 1,108.8 hit points over 6 seconds. Now, having two at once not only means that you'll double the potential for the effective trigger, but while the HUD itself doesn't display it, each Arcane Grace actually procs individually, allowing them to stack upon themselves, potentially doubling the amount of healing that they do. Now, while this is my preferred setup, Arcane Grace and Arcane Ultimatum also work quite well as preventative measures, each increasing your armor by 60%, with an individual trigger mitigating a bonus of 4% of the damage that's dealt to you, while a duo mitigates 7. Now, Aneros is fairly straightforward, so I can only really offer you one tip. Without the aid of Arcanes, Aneros can actually do a decent job of healing himself. His first ability, Desiccate, stuns all enemies in a comb that are facing him, dealing damage and restoring some of his HP in the process. It also opens them up to finishers, which is great for his passive to restore large chunks of his health. So if you're more into ranged combat, and not all the crazy critical based melee that I quite enjoy, I'd suggest you combine his passive's healing aspect with the dagger mod Covert Lethality, which outright kills any enemy when used in conjunction with the melee finisher. This grants you guaranteed health restoration and can take out any problem targets with ease. Because let's face it, regardless of whether you're going in guns blazing or you prefer getting your hands a bit dirty, going down isn't much of an option when you could be doing it doggy style. So thank you all for watching another episode of The Snapshot. If you're in the mood to binge on Aneros, be sure to check out both his rundown and his episode of Dress to Kill. Now, don't forget to do all the things that I ask you to do at the end of every one of these. And as always, stay tuned to watch how long I can keep it up here at A Gay Guy Plays. And I would be like, I, he just called me over and was like, what is going on? And so I turn around and he has this big black dildo sticking out of his pants. <laughs> and I was like, what are you what? doing?